Another very important movement of the 1960s was the women's liberation movement. In 1963, author Betty Friedan published her book, The Feminine Mystique. The book challenged social limits on women and sparked hidden ambition in females everywhere. It challenged them to be more than housewives and mothers and to follow their own path and careers. The book and the feelings it created ignited the feminist movement. This movement advocated that women and men should have economic, political, and social equality. As the movement grew, it also became more diverse. Housewives, college students, minorities, and celebrities like Gloria Steinem joined. More radical and militant groups formed. As a sign of protest, they would burn their bras, and they protested the Miss America pageant because they felt that it objectified women too much. The women's liberation movement of the 1960s gained many social victories for women in America. Social roles and expectations for women changed. Women put off having families until later in life and went back to school to get new skills, and birth control rates jumped. The women's liberation movement also gained a victory in the Supreme Court decision Roe v. Wade, 1973. In their decision in this case, the Supreme Court ruled that women had a right to choose to have an abortion if that is what they wanted. Abortion is still a very hot topic discussed in American politics today. The women's liberation movement also inspired the creation of the National Organization for Women, also known as NOW. This group advocated women's rights in the workplace, including equal pay and protection against sexual harassment. The women's movement of the 1960s also inspired the Equal Rights Amendment, or the ERA. This was a proposed amendment to the United States Constitution that would guarantee women equal rights to men under the law of the United States. It was defeated in 1973 and never added to the Constitution, but it began to generate a discussion on what equal rights were and how to better guarantee them to women. The 1960s also brought about gains for minorities. Latino farm workers under the leadership of Cesar Chavez began to organize. Prior to the movement, they were not able to unionize. Cesar Chavez went on a hunger strike and led a great boycott. Cesar Chavez led this Chicano movement and won better pay, and he also won better rights for migrant workers in California. Next, Native Americans wanted more independence in their own affairs. The American Indian Movement, also called AIM, called for greater Indian autonomy and ethnic pride. In 1972, the Indian Education Act gave tribes control over their own affairs, their land, and their schools. And finally, affirmative action. Affirmative action set up programs that made special efforts for discriminated groups in colleges and work. Groups of people that would previously be discriminated against in education or work would now have more opportunity to succeed. The belief was equal opportunity could bring equal success. With social groups clamoring for change at home and violent protests and rallies in the streets, America was in the midst of a social revolution, a revolution like no other in its history. Modern American history as we know it today was being born in the 1960s and everything was changing.